Hello, fellow birders. My name is Dennis Kenia. Today we're going to take a look at Nelson Sparrow and Leconte Sparrow during fall migration. On the DuPage Birding Club Education Channel, we'll be discussing all things bird related. And as I mentioned, today we'll be taking a close look at Nelson Sparrow and Leconte Sparrow. It's been a long standing tradition in uh, my house to have uh, a major bird of this year featured on our Christmas card. <laughs> you can see here that in 2013, I elected to have both uh, Nelson Sparrow and Leconte Sparrow on my card. And certainly there was a lot of competition since I do a lot of international traveling and there's always exotic birds that grace to cover. But this particular year, we had such a great migration of these birds in the fall. And I did actually encounter the two species sitting side by side, just like this in some Bidens. And uh, it was a wonderful experience. So I decided that I wanted to have that as my cover. So now let's take that closer look. The problem uh, arises in that these species, both Nelsons and Leconts, are very elusive in their habitat. And they're going to be found in um, areas that are densely covered in reeds or in wet grasses. And so getting a good look at them is the tricky part. Um, you can see that uh, even in this image, there's a hint that there's an ochre colored face. You can see there's ochre also on the upper breast. And something you can't see here is that there are white streaks running down the back and you can't obviously see that it has a weak flight. But if you did see all those characteristics, you'd start to get a clue that you're going to be looking at something pretty exciting. And it's going to be probably a Nelson Sparrow or a Lacan Sparrow. So here's our data that comes from Fermilab uh, from the 33 years of bird monitoring that's been going on out there. And you can see that both species do migrate through the county. Uh, for Nelson Sparrow, we have very, very few, uh, almost non-existent records in the springtime. So most of our records are coming in the fall. And they do start showing up mid-September, and they're usually with us through the end of October. Lacan Sparrow uh, does appear more frequently in the springtime, but still very sporadic. And most of their records in the fall start arriving uh, or showing up in the beginning of October. And then we do have them through the month. And there was one very rare occurrence of Lacan Sparrow showing up on a Christmas count. So let's take a look at Nelson Sparrow for starters. And you can see all those features that I mentioned earlier. You can see the ochre colored face. You can see there's kind of an ochre wash across the breast. You can see the white streaks running down the back. And all those things would make you think that you're in the right, um, in the right category of sparrows when you're thinking Nelsons and Lacans. So some of the things that we would be key features to help separate them out would be the uh, median crown stripe, which you can see on this image here, you can see that it's very gray in color, it hardly stands out at all. And when we get to the images of Lacan sparrow, you'll see that it has a very white median crown stripe, and that will be showing a lot of contrast, and it's quite easy to see if you can get a good look at the head. You can also see the nape here on both of these um, photos, and you can see that it's a clean gray nape. There are no little spots or anything in it. So um, that would be a key feature as well. There is more streaking generally on Nelson Sparrow than on Lacan Sparrow. And you can see it goes all across the breast and all the way down the flanks, and it's more diffused streaking than what we'll see on the Lacan Sparrow. So keep that in mind. And I'd like to point out that the Nelson Sparrow has a very large bill and a large head and almost gets that same look of a flat headed appearance that you get out of Nelson's or out of um, Henslow Sparrow or Grasshopper Sparrow. So they are in the same genus as those birds. When we look at the Lacan Sparrow, we'll see that the bill is much smaller and it has a more rounded head. So here is that Lacan Sparrow. <clears throat> and as I mentioned, you can see that there's a quite a conspicuous median crown stripe here. So it's very bright compared to what we had on the Nelson Sparrow. So you should be able to pick that up. It does again have all the ochre in the face. It has ochre across the breast, which you can hardly see here, but it is there. Uh, you can see the gray in the face. So a lot of similar, similar characteristics to Nelson's. But the first thing that I usually look for is that median crown stripe, which is very, very 
um, bold. You can see in the nape, the nape is gray, but it also has little purple flecks in every one of the feathers. And so that gives a slightly different pattern. And you have to look closely, but you can pick out that, um, that patterning. <clears throat> if you take a look at the streaking, you can see that the streaking is very, very bold, very crisp looking compared to what we were looking at on Nelson Sparrow. And if we could see a full view of the breast, you would see that it's kind of um, not as strong. There's not as much streaking going on across the front. So all of those characteristics would help you to separate those two species. Again, looking at the head, um, I have to say that this does look a bit flat-headed, but it is more of a rounded head, and it is a smaller bill for sure than what we would expect to see on Nelson Sparrow. So keep these features in mind. The overall patterning is very, very similar between the two species. <clears throat> Both species do have an ochred colored face. Uh, they do have gray ear coverts and an ochre cross uh, ochre wash across the upper breast. So both species have white streaks on, that run down the back and both species have streaks on the upper breast and along the flanks. N Nelson Sparrow differs by having gray median crown stripe and a gray unmarked nape and more extensive but diffused breast and flank streaking. A con sparrow differs by having a distinct white median crown stripe. The gray nape does have little purple flecks in it and the Streaking on the breast and along the flanks is much finer and more crisp looking. The con sparrow has a small bill compared to Nelson sparrow and it's not typical for this genus. So thanks for taking the time to view this video. Hopefully we've given you some bird food for thought and I hope you'll join us again in the future as we explore all things bird related.